Welcome back. Let's cover another tool that we can use for man in the middle attack. And this tool is called similar to the previous tool from the last video. This tool is called Ether Cap, just without B. Now, unlike the previous tool, we already have this pre installed inside of our Cal Linux machine. And this is a graphical interface tool. So it might be a little bit easier for us to run it, and let's give it a try. What we must do first is we must open the terminal and as I already mentioned in the previous video, let's run all of this with root account. Now, before we actually start running this tool, I want to talk about another thing which is called manual packet forwarding. So sometimes some of the tools will not perform the packet forwarding for you. And if you don't do it yourself, sometimes even after performing the ARP spoofing and the man in the middle attack, your targets will not be able to visit pages because you didn't allow packet forwarding. To always make sure that your packet forwarding is allowed, you can cat out the file at location slash proc slash sys slash net slash ipv4 and slash ip underscore forward. Once you cat this file, you will either have a value of 0 or 1 right here. If you have a value of zero, that means the packet forwarding is not enabled. And in that case, you must enable it first. To do that, you can type echo one and you echo it into this location. So proc sys net IPv4 and IP underscore forward. And then you double check to see whether the value of one has been added to this file and it indeed has. Now the packets are allowed to be forwarded. Once you do that, then you can start your tools. So to start the ethercap tool, all we need to do is to type ethercap dash g. Oops, it says ethercap not found. Let's give it a try. Maybe it is not installed by default. Let me see. Hmm. Unable to load ethercap. Maybe it is lowercase, so if I type it like this. Okay, so now it works. Just make sure that you specify it with lowercase e at the beginning. Then you type ethercap and then dash capital G for graphical interface. Once you do that, it will open this new window, which is the new version of ethercap that is a little bit different than in the previous Calinux versions. You can enlarge the window and the first thing that we must do right here is to set up the interface and the sniffing at startup. So you can turn this on, you can select your primary interface in case you're over Cal Linux, it will usually be ETH0, unless you're running over wireless, then you want to choose a different interface and once you do all of that, you can click on this check button right here, which says accept and it will tell you down here started unified sniffing. What I usually like to do is I like to enlarge this lower window a little bit more to see everything better and then we can experiment with different ethercap options. The first thing that we must do once performing this attack is to discover all of the hosts on the network. To do that you can type on this button right here. It will even tell you that this button is used to scan for hosts and once you click on this it will automatically scan all 255 hosts on my network and it will tell me four hosts added to the host list. But right here we cannot really see the hosts, so how can we see which hosts are discovered? Well, we can go onto this button right here, click on it and it will tell us the IP addresses of the hosts and their MAC address. Down here also these buttons will open, delete host, add target one, or add to target 2. And as in the previous video, we're going to perform this attack on our Windows 10 target machine. Or in my case, I'm going to perform on my Windows 10 target machine, you can choose whatever machine that you want. Since the IP address of my Windows 10 machine is 192.168.1.7, I'm going to right click on this and add to target 1. To check out whether I successfully added, I can take a look down here and it does say host and then this IP address added to target one, but I can also go to these three dots, click on targets and click on current targets. And it will tell me that I have the current target of 192.168.1.7. 
once I select my targets, I can start ARP poisoning. And to do that, I click on this right here, which says MITM menu, and we got different types of poisoning, but we're interested in this ARP poisoning. Click on that, and click on OK to start sniffing remote connections. It will tell us down here ARP poisoning victims, group 1, which is the only target that we specify with its MAC address, and the group 2 will be all of the hosts in the list, but we don't have any, so currently we're attacking just the Windows 10 machine. Now there is one thing about this tool, it will not print nearly as much information as the previous better cap tool. However, once our target visits a page that sends unencrypted usernames and passwords, it will print that right here. And we can take a look at that by going to our router, as in the previous video, and typing in, for example, admin and then password. If I click on login, down here we will manage to sniff that. As we can see, the HTTP, it will tell us from where did the connection come from, the username is admin and the password is this. Now this is once again the hashed value of the password because that is how it is implemented inside of our router. If it was some page that was sending the passwords in plain text, we would be able to see it right here in plain text. Okay, so now that we did the same thing from the previous video, I also want to show you a cool trick that you can check out to see if the target machine is being ARP spoofed. So let's say that we are on our target machine, and this is the machine that is currently being ARP spoofed. How can we check out whether our connection is being sniffed? Well, we can open the command prompt, and we can type the command ARP-A. And this will give us our ARP cache, or in other words, this will give us the IP addresses of the machines in the local area network and their correspondent MAC addresses. And if we take a look at right here, we can see that all of these IP addresses right here appear to have the same MAC address. And that is not a good sign. Once you see something like this, or if you even see two different IP addresses having the same MAC address, that is also not a good sign and that would most likely mean that a man in the middle attack is being performed, especially if you have an IP address of router having the same MAC address as a different machine on the network. And this is how you can check this out. For example, if I stop this, let's go right here and quit this program, stopping the MITM attack and closing this. And if I go and run the same command, now you can see different IP addresses have different MAC addresses. And this is how it should be because the MAC addresses are unique. So one IP address should have one different MAC address. And not like this where we had all of the IP addresses having the same MAC address. Now in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can perform this manually using Python 3. We're not going to be sniffing for data. We're just going to see how we can change the MAC address of the router from our Cal Linux machine to appear as the same MAC address from the Cal Linux machine to our Windows 10 machine. Or in other words, if you didn't understand, we're going to spoof the Windows 10 machine with one packet just to change its ARP tables. And we're going to do that using Python 3. So that would be about it for the Attercap tool. You can experiment with other options as well if you want to, and I will see you in the next video.